very frequently outside the classroom. If you want a definite integral, you're going to have to numerically approximate it. And again, outside of the classroom, you'd use a computer to do the approximation, but it's not a bad thing to know, at least on an elementary level, some of the numerical algorithms a computer might be using. In this video, we'll present the midpoint rule, a numerical approximation technique. Now, we already have a technique for approximating definite integrals. Definite integrals are limits of Riemann sums. Ergo, a Riemann sum can be used to approximate a definite integral. Let's remind ourselves of what a Riemann sum is. We've got a curve. We've got an interval that we're looking at. And we're trying to estimate the area under the curve. We break this interval into smaller pieces. For the purposes of the midpoint rule, let's assume these pieces are all of equal length. In each of these pieces, you select a point could be any point. And you go up until you hit the curve and then you create a rectangle. You repeat that process for each of these sub intervals. You add the areas of the rectangles together. And there's your approximation of the definite integral. All the midpoint rule says is that when you select points to create these sub intervals, you should use the midpoint in order to make your approximation as good as possible. So let's repeat this process. We have a function on an interval we're trying to approximate it. We break the interval up, trying to approximate um, the area, I should say. We break the interval up into subintervals. 
and we use those subintervals to create rectangles. But this time, instead of letting these points be wherever, we make them be the midpoint. And we create our rectangles as before and add up their areas. And you see, this does maybe look like a better approximation. We don't have this large white area that we are missing. I mean, this region here is part of the area under the curve, but it's not included in any of these rectangles. Here, this region has shrunk to a much smaller piece.